Good afternoon, everybody. It's Chris here for your power wash. Got some exciting news, things I want to show you guys. Hope everybody's having a great day. I know I am now, so check this out. All right. <coughs> what we have here, I went out on a limb here and spent a little money. So we have a 4,000 PSI, four gallons a minute, which is the same thing we have on the trailer, but this one's heating. We can raise the temperature of the water up to 120 degrees hotter than what we actually have coming in. So water 70 degrees coming in, we can raise it up to 190. Most likely we won't ever need it that hot. Probably 130, 140 is where it's probably going to stay at, I guess. You may be wondering why we got this. Well, for one thing, I just like heating fresh water. So I've been looking at them for a while, I've been thinking about them for a while, and as business is picking up and business is starting to get a little bit bigger, I told my wife, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and make this jump. And I ran into some jobs this week where I really needed heat. I, I could get the job done without it, but heat would have sped it up a little bit, made it a little bit better. Um, I was washing some of those uh, bob trucks for the MFA, is what it was, and I didn't really have that much issue with the trucks because we use acid on them anyways. And then the wash I've got, it, it does a really good job of getting all the grease and things like that off. Where I ran into the issue was with the fuel pads. And once I got done, the degreaser just didn't do like I wanted it to. I couldn't get all the oil stains out. And that kind of made me want to go ahead and venture in and get the heated pressure washer. With this heated pressure washer, I ought to be able to hit that concrete, get all the oil spills, all the gas, where you, you've been around diesel pumps, you know how it is, you'll get black everywhere. With this bad boy, I should be able to take most of that. Yes, we'll still use some degreasers to make it a little bit easier, but for the most part, the heat's gonna do the work for us. Exciting thing about this is it's also gonna help me out doing vehicle details because I can turn the pressure down, turn the heat up a little bit, and we don't have to scrub near as hard getting your, um, getting the bugs off the front, which, personally don't like scrubbing them. I don't take a chance on scratching, things like that. So we turn the pressure down so we don't worry about blowing any paint off or anything like that and we can hit it with the heat. It, man, it's just amazing. It just melts the, melts the bugs right off there. And it also helps with the underbody. If you get that road grime on your underbody, nobody brushes their frames or anything like that. Well, you can soap it and hit it with the heat and it does wonders on getting that clean. Anyways, I'm excited. Like I said, this is the same pump and everything that's on the trailer. Same motor, it's a GX390 Honda engine, which can't go wrong with Honda. And one good thing about this one is it's electric start. Now we do have to get a battery to put in the box, but it is electric start. Uh, we got big plans for this. Uh, one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, the wheels here, they're actually on a frame. So we're gonna take that frame off there. I'm going to build, probably gonna build an aluminum skid is what I'm looking at right now. I'm gonna measure everything out. We're gonna build a skid for this to go on, and it will have a buffer tank on it and a soap tank. Most likely, the buffer tank will only probably be 35 gallons since it's going in the bed of the truck. Main thing that does is keeps it to where if I let off the trigger, I can have the water automatically return back into the tank, which keeps my pump from overheating. Because when you let off the trigger, that water sitting there going around around your pump and will overheat your pump. So that's one reason for the buffer tank, I can, I can pop that back in. And also, if you got low pressure somewhere, and I've got even just a 35 gallon buffer tank, that will help me keep up with the water and won't get behind and starve the, the motor for water. Um, so we're gonna do that. We'll have the buffer tank, we'll have the soap tank, all that'll be one thing in the truck. We're also gonna put a hose reel on it. I think I have 150 foot of hose reel on the trailer now. Probably only do 100 on this because most likely I won't be trying to go around houses and stuff. I'll just be going around um, like gas stations, things like that, and should be able to park close enough to take care of them. But I kind of want to jump on here and show you guys what I was thinking. One good thing about all this is once I get done, I'll have this on a skid where it can go in and out of the back of the truck. So I can pull up to a job with this in the truck and my trailer. And if one washer goes down, we've got a backup so we don't have to leave the job. Now we haven't actually run into the issue where a washer went down, we had to leave a job without finishing it but it's inevitable, you know it's gonna happen. So now that we have to, we, we, won't have to, we won't have to worry about that. I've got enough spare parts in the trailer anyways that we could probably take care of it. So I'm excited to get this thing going. Um, you guys have been thinking about having something done. I know it's still kind of cold outside. One good thing about the heated washer is 
it is cold outside and you want a detail done, it makes it so much easier on your hands not getting cold. But <clears throat> think about, there's something to think about. If you've been thinking about getting on the schedule, I know it's still winter, we haven't hit spring months yet. But when we do hit those spring months, more than likely most people are gonna be getting outside and seeing all the green stuff on their house or black streaks on their roof, thinking, man, I need to get this done. Well, at that point, probably it's gonna be overloaded with the amount of work that I can do because once everybody calls at once, I can't go everywhere at once. So if you've been thinking about going ahead and getting on the schedule, go ahead and jump on there. Um, I can catch a sunny day, catch a warm day, and I can come out and take care of your house. I can take care of your driveway. I know with the way the weather's been lately, I haven't done a whole lot of houses and a whole lot of driveways. I've done a few, but not very many. I've mainly been doing details, and then, like I said, I've done the fleet washing and the gas stations. So that's kind of my cold weather thing is doing those, but like I said, I'm always open to washing houses. I love washing houses, man. It's just, when you watch that green stuff disappear, it's something else. So, anyways, I just wanna to touch base with you guys, show you what I had going on. Like I said, it's exciting for the business, exciting for me. I'm ready to see where it takes us, ready to see what this summer and this spring takes us, and what all we can do, so. Like I said, if you've been thinking about having something done, go ahead and give me a call, shoot me a message, I'll give you a free quote. You don't have to take it, you know, mull it over when you decide to get it done, hey, I'm ready. Like I said, y'all need anything, give me a call. Chris here with Pritchard Power Wash. <laughs>